Hey guys, Ty here, back with another Oculus video. And in this video, I am gonna show you how to pair Bluetooth keyboards with a, your a Go. Um, it's super, super useful to have a keyboard in the Go if you're using apps, uh, particularly virtual desktop. Must have a keyboard attached to your Go if you're using that app. Uh, and if you're surfing using a Samsung VR browser, you can use keyboards in that browser to actually type in website addresses, uh, passwords, things like that. Uh, much, much less tedious than trying to use this with the virtual on-screen keyboard, especially for complex passwords. Um, the native browser, the Oculus browser, does not support keyboards and most of the native apps that you're going to get on uh, the Oculus do not support keyboards yet. It's kind of up to the developers. Some do. I haven't done an exhaustive test, but I use the keyboards all the time in virtual desktop and in Samsung VR browser or browser VR. Um, they also work pretty much in every app that you're going to use if you sideload apps to Oculus TV. So any browsers that you have over there, any games or anything that require keyboards are going to work well over in Oculus TV. I'll provide a link down below on how to sideload uh, some apps, but we're kind of going to sideload something here. Now, this is more for the beginner. If you are an advanced user and you know uh, how to use ADB, I will just go ahead and provide the uh, command down below. So just run that command while your Go is uh, hooked up to your computer and you're going to get a screen like this. We're going to see our Bluetooth settings. So this is kind of like the native Android Bluetooth settings, but we're going to go ahead and you're going to see it in the Go uh, right uh, here. Um, now, we're going to install a little APK that makes it easy to access this from within your Go anywhere. You don't have to be tethered to your computer or know anything about ADB or any sort of technical knowledge at all. It makes it super, super simple. And I want to thank Colonel Izzy over at Reddit for making this little kind of a fork on another project. Um, so I will go ahead and link to uh, that thread over at Reddit so you can give him a thanks and give him a, a big thumbs up over there. So how do we get to these settings right here? So this is where we're going to pair this stuff. But let's go back and I will actually show you uh, how we can get to these settings. So first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the description down below and you're going to want to download the ADB package and you're going to put that package on your C drive. So that way, we'll move this into the recording window. So that way it looks like this. So you've got your windows and then you've got ADB. Open up ADB and then you are going to do one of two things. If you just want to open up the Bluetooth settings right there for one time, one shot, go, attach a keyboard and be done with it. You don't want to be able to access those settings later. Uh, all you got to do is click on uh, start Bluetooth settings and uh, We'll go back over here and bam, it just started it in the go. So there you go. Now you can start pairing stuff and you can try to pair whatever. Headphones aren't going to work. Mice don't really work. Uh, yeah, they're kind of pointless. Besides, you've got this, which is a way better mouse, uh, much more effective. But try to pair stuff. See what works. See what doesn't work for you. A lot of people are going to be tempted to turn off the Bluetooth. And all that will do is turn off your Bluetooth. Your controller no longer works with your headset and you are stuck and you're just gonna need to restart the headset. So if you turn off the Bluetooth headset, it's not gonna kill anything. You are just going to need uh, to restart uh, your headset. Now, if you want to install a shortcut, and I'll show you where to get to that shortcut so that you can always access your Bluetooth settings like that, then you're gonna to wanna to go to uh, double click on install Bluetooth settings launcher. And I'll go ahead and do it. And it will give me a failure saying it's failed, it already exists because I've already installed it. However, if it wasn't installed, it would say success and you'll be good to go. And let's move this out of the way and we'll go back to the go and I'll show you how to get to that setting. Uh, so once you install that, you're gonna go over here and click on unknown sources uh, and then there, Bluetooth settings. And bear in mind, you are going to have to put your Go into developer mode. I should have mentioned that earlier on. So your Go is going to need to be in developer mode. I will provide a link down below how to do it. It is super easy. Don't fret if you're not technically inclined. It takes 60 seconds. You don't need to know anything technical, super fast, super easy, but you are gonna need to put the Go into developer mode before we do this. Um, so anyways, you're gonna go to your apps and then you're gonna go to unknown sources and then you're gonna have Bluetooth settings right there. Bada bing, bada bang. 
now you can go ahead and add your devices. So um, I'll go ahead and take this little keyboard right here and we're just gonna hold it down and put it into pairing mode. And then we can see on the go, there it is, macro keyboard, and go ahead and click on it. Now when you pair keyboards, if you've never paired a keyboard to an Android device, it's gonna ask you for a code. So in this case, 577346, uh, 346, and then enter. And there's no sort of confirmation that you're typing keys in, so just type them in, hit entered. Sometimes you will see that uh, settings have stopped. Don't worry about that. Uh, it will just open up automatically again, and then bam, there we go. Micro keyboard, this keyboard right here is now attached. And so now I can go to either virtual desktop, boom, use that, or we can go over to uh, Samsung internet right here, open it up, and you'll find that you'll be able to enter in text using a keyboard, whether it's just typing in the address, or again, passwords, that's where I hated the on-screen keyboards right here. Um, so we can go up right here and then just www, you know, whatever, uh, Google right there, uh, dot com and enter and boom, it enters and my internet's down here super slow. Uh, but there you go, boom. How to attach a Bluetooth keyboard. Easy peasy. Uh, that's it. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. It really does help. Uh, subscribe and hit the bell if you're into this sort of stuff. I post videos fairly regularly. Uh, and uh, that is it. Have a good one. I'll see you in the next video.